All right, Bessie, we're all set for my grand opening. You ready to take off with my advertising campaign? No. All you gotta do is float up a couple thousand feet and toss out these handbills. <laughs> Petro! <laughs> Howdy, you, Jeff. I was gonna wait till I had my first customer before I called you, but what do you think of my new car wash? Well, sometimes you act like you've got grits for brains. <laughs> you know how many of these places there already is in Beverly Hills? Not like mine. This is the only one in the whole world that'll wash your car in just five seconds. It is. Yeah, that's because I'm the only fella that's smart enough to think of dunking them. <laughs> dunking them? Yeah. Well, it gets the car spanking clean, top and bottom. It's my own invention. You see, I just put the car in them chains over yonder and then hoist it up with them ropes. It's hooked up to this block and tackle at either end. Then I just haul the car out over the water and slack it off and drop it in. Then I just slush it around a little bit and lift it out over to this side and let it drip dry. <laughs> How about that? And what's more, for 10 cents extra, I clean the whole inside of the car, too. I just leave the windows open. <laughs> what's the matter? I forget something? Uh -huh. For one thing, the shingle you're going to need for your pants when Granny finds out what happened to her soap. <laughs> oh, man, that's the secret to this whole operation. You see, in, even in cold water, Granny's last soap cuts grease just like that. Boy. Of course, it is kind of tough on car paint, too. But I don't care much about repeat business. You have 24 hours to drain this pond, pull down them ropes, and get this place back to normal. Oh, come on, Uncle Jed. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to set this world on fire. You're going to clean up, all right. Everything. Or you're going to end up with a seat of your britches on fire. <laughs> Oh, yeah? If I'd have got my handbills out when I wanted to, I'd have been turning the customers away now. It's all that dad blame Bess's fault. <laughs> what do you mean it's Bess's fault? That monkey ain't nothing but a big hairy chicken. <laughs>